Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Second Maccabees chapter 4 and verse 15. Read. Not setting by the honors of their father, but likening the glory of the Grecians best of all. The Bible said the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and the Native Americans, we don't set by the examples of our forefathers. We stray away from that. But what we do, read that. By reason where we are, so a calamity fell upon them. 15, not setting by the honors of their fathers, but liking the glory of the Grecians best of all. We don't want to do what our forefathers did. Okay. We don't want to do what our forefathers did. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which was kept God laws. Right. Which was conquered lands, warriors in the Bible. That's right. But we, we want to live like the so-called white man. We want to keep their holiday. We want to keep their religions. They false religions. We got to come up out of that and get ourselves together. Brother, you understand that you're an Israelite, brother, sister? Do you understand that you're an Israelite? Yes, sir. You know, you, what, where is you from on the side? The so-called African-Americans is from the tribe of Judah. Yes, So your, your father was a so-called African-American. Okay, so knowing this, sister, let me ask you this question. Do you believe that you live under the identity of the white man, the so-called white man? In a sense, yeah. Because of how they make them. Okay, so we have to come up out of that. We have to get rid of all that foolishness that we picked up through our slavery and through our oppression. 400 years of nonsense that they embedded in us. We have to get rid of that. We, and, and the only way we can do that is coming back to this Bible. That's right and keeping God lost, because that's why we went into slavery from the first beginning. Yeah. So we gonna get some laws out of here. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 2025. Bring it Cause, up. Cause as Israelites, we just can't know that we Israelites in our mind with no action. Right. That's Bring just like up. you go fill out an application at a job, they tell you, yeah, sister, you hired, you know, you start, you start Monday. Then Monday come, you never show up. That's true. Then two weeks later, you call them and say, what my paycheck? That's true. You ain't doing no work. How's you expecting a paycheck? Bring right. it up. So you have to keep God's commandments or there's no salvation for you. Yes, right. There's no kingdom for you. Bring it out. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Uh -huh. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Uh -huh. Okay, now sister, what do women wear that man wear today? Pants. Pants. You are absolutely right, sis. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment uh -huh. for all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. So an abomination is a hateful thing to God. Yes, so we got to come from out of that. We got to change. Once you hear the laws and the scriptures, it's actions that you got to do behind that. Right. So after that, so so um, let me ask you this question. After hearing this scripture, what we just read, what should you do? Change. Change. So that means, Lord's will, we'll see you in the dress next time we see you. That's right. That's right. Right. Bring it out. Lord's a modest, that's modest appearance. I felt it was, I felt it was the most high God's will for me to run into you because during this pandemic, I've been sitting at home watching the IUIC class. So I'm not coming here, brother, to challenge you. I came with a question at all. All praise. So everything that you're saying, it was true. I'm not here to dispute. All praise. Okay. Give me uh, Psalms, give me Psalms 119 and verse 6. Bring it out. Because you've been, you've been sitting at the house, you've been watching IUIC classrooms, correct? Is what you said. I've been watching and I've been studying the Bible my whole life. So yes, I do see and no, I don't live right according to the most high God. Okay. But I'm trying to walk. So you ask me what yeah. can I do, I can change, brother, and that's all. I'm changing because I birthed a son. So therefore, I got to put him in the right path. In order for me to put him in the right path, I got to willing to know my place. Okay, and okay. I'm looking for that. 
Okay, okay, we're going to read this scripture. Okay, so the sister says she's been watching classes. She's been reading the Bible. She understands that she has to change. And you, you're going to make that change. So we're going to read the scriptures about one of our forefathers and how well, once you know you're in the midst of sin, what you're supposed to do. Read. Read it out. Psalms 119 and verse 59. Read it out. I done on my ways and turned my feet unto thy testimonies. So that's what you said you're doing. You've been watching videos. You've been thinking on your ways. Feel convicted, you feel like you gotta make that change. Read. I made haste and delayed not to to keep thy commandments. You know what it means to make haste, sister? What does it mean to make haste? Huh? To my knowledge is to move. To move fast, quick. Yes, that means on the drop of the dime, speedily, you're supposed to move. Once you hear and you convicted, same day. That's what hates me. That means right away, brother. So you already said you know you're an Israelite, right? And you believe that wholeheartedly. You believe that you're Israelite. Okay, so do you understand? Matter of fact, get uh, Deuteronomy 10 and 12 first. And then uh, Leviticus 21 and 5. Because you wholeheartedly believe that you're Israelite, which is good. Because you are an Israelite. If your, folks so -called, your father a uh, so-called African-American, you will be from the tribe of Judah. That's right. So... Read this, read this one. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. Uh -huh. And now Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? So what's your name, brother? Christian. Okay, so say, so it's saying, now Israel, Israel, Christian, you are Israelite, so it's talking to you. Read. What does the Lord thy God require of thee? What does the, that's a question that's being imposed. What does the Lord thy God require of you, Christian? To hold, to hold his law being humble. Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. It start off with fear. That's right. Because if you don't fear God, you're going to be disrespectful as hell to God. Right. Right. Just like you didn't fear your mother and your father when you was growing up in the house, you disrespected them. Teach Walked up. all over. It starts off with fear. Read. To walk in all his ways. Read. And to love him. Read. And to serve the Lord thy God Read. with all thy heart and all thy soul. To keep the commandments. To keep the commandments. Yes, so you are Israelite Christian. So do you realize that you have to keep the high commandments? Yes, sir. Okay. Leviticus 21 and 5. Yes. So we're going to get some commandments and we're going to make them clear to you. So even if you didn't know about these commandments before this day, you know that you're an Israelite. After today, you know you have to keep the commandments, right? Right. Okay, let's read it. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Read it out. They shall not make baldness upon their head. Okay, say, thou shall not make baldness upon their head. As I can observe you right now, you keeping that commandment. All praises. You ain't got a Michael Jordan. You ain't got a Martel Williams. Read. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. But you don't supposed to shave off the corners of your beard. Right. So you can't go get the uh, the, uh, the Greek uh, gold teeth, the Greek chin straps, right. and dig into your beard. Right. So did you understand that that was a commandment of God, Christian? Yeah, uh, yes, sir. So what you gonna do after today, understand it, and it say, don't shave off the corners of your beard. Uh, I, I can't say, I can't say this, I can't go back, I can't shave. All praises. That's All praises. repentance, brother. That's, That's right. where it start with. Understanding the hearing That's the right. commandments, understanding the commandments, then doing the commandments. That's now right. also That's doing right. the commandments in here. If you can't put them in here, what's the point of living if you can't put them in your heart? Right, right. So you got the you got a flyer. So that means we're gonna see you at the school soon. Yes, sir. All praises. All praises. That shows signs of humbleness, repentance. John three and three. Because yeah. this is what's going on with you right now, Christian. And this is good for our people. We, matter of fact. Give me uh, Joel 3 and 9. It's good because we need man to wake up everybody that's out here asleep. Yes, we need right. man to leave the women, the single mothers. We need man to run the households. Right. That's what the Most High is looking for. He's waking up man first to right. lead. Right. Read that. Joel chapter 3 and verse 9. Read read proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. That's what we're doing right now. We, we proclaiming God's words amongst the Gentiles. How are you the Gentiles? Because you're living like one. Right. The most I called you Israel, but you want to choose to live, live like an Edomite, like a so-called white man. That's right. Read. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty man. And say, wake up the mighty man. That's what we are here to do, Christian. 
It seemed like you got a humble spirit to be a mighty man from out the most high. That's right. Read. It said, and it said, prepare war. What type of war? Is it talking about going to get an AK-47? Hell no. The so-called so white man, he make all the ammunition. You ain't got enough ammunition. You ain't got enough bullets to go against the so-called white man. You know? Teach. It ain't talking about carnal war. Give me that in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, 10 and 4. This is a spiritual warfare. That's right. It said to wake up the mighty man for war. Right. So we can cast down all these doctrines and all these false religions that's embedded in your brain. That's right. Read. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 4. Read. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. It ain't talking about no AK-47. It's talking about this Bible. God laws. Teach. Read. But mighty through God Read. to the pulling down of strongholds. To the pulling down of strongholds. That's what we are here to do. We are here to let you know 4th of July is not for you. That's right. You was in slavery. 1776 on the 4th of July. Bring it out. And, uh, and you was just marching when Floyd got killed. George Floyd got killed, you was marching. Two weeks later, now you want to celebrate and forget all about it. Bring it on. Teach, child. That's because you destroyed. Bring Give me Hosea 4-6. Bring it on. You destroyed. You don't know who you is, black man, black woman. You the child of God. You, you Israelites, according to the Bible. That's right. Y'all sisters, pull over here and come get some of this knowledge. Understand that you are an Israelite according to the Bible, and you must keep God's commandments. Read. Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I also will reject thee. Absolutely. We reject God's laws all the time. Why you think we go into the positions that we go into today? Why you think we get shot down in the streets today? Right. Because we reject God's laws. Right. Give me Isaiah 59 and verse 1. We ain't one of four. That's why we're going through what we're going through today. Because we right. reject knowledge. We reject God's laws. We want to do what makes us feel good. What have that gotten us? Nowhere but put to death. What have that gotten us? Filling up the county jails. Filling up the prison systems. Filling up the hospitals with diseases. Teach. Read. Isaiah 59. In verse 1, Bring it out. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save. So the Bible said, the Most High God, hand is not shortened where it can't save us. That's the right. Most High can stop you from getting gunned down in the street. Right. The Most High can stop you from catching HIV, syphilis, herpes, and dying from diseases. Right. Read. Read. his ear heavy that he cannot hear. So the most I hear your cries. He hear you get killed on, on a daily basis. He hear the oppression that you're going through. Yeah. He hear when you get incarcerated. Right. You, you sit up with some loud prayers. Oh God, if you just let me out this time, I won't do it no more. Right. Then as soon as you walk out that door, you back to wickedness. Right. Teach. He hear the lies that you sit it up. Read. But your iniquities, but your what? Iniquity, but your sin, we have separated between you and your God. That's why he allowed you to keep getting shot down in the street. That's why you number one in HIV, number one in diabetes. That's right. Because of your sin, you can't put down the strip. You can't put down the crab legs. You can't stop eating the pig, the pork. Right. Because of your sin has separated you from the most high God. That's right. Scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. 
These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.